Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to your Wallops Weather Briefing for Thursday, February 1st. After a cold day yesterday, we are going to be seeing a slightly above average day temperature-wise today, and then we are going to be seeing some rain tonight with a little bit of snow, but no accumulation expected for tomorrow morning. We are at the uh, start of February here, so just to take a look at our temperatures from January, this is the temperature graph, and as you can see from here, the first... Uh, 10 to 15 days or so of January we were extremely cold with some record break, record uh, lows set as well as some uh, record cold highs. We did have a brief warm up in the middle of January but then temperatures were uh, seasonable to slightly below average for a period between the 15th to the 20th Then we had another brief warm up but overall it was a, a second uh, below average month for uh, the, with December also being uh, below average for uh, temperature wise and yes January was a negative 1.31 degrees below normal so has been a rather cold winter and we are expecting some more cold here for the next several days across the mid-atlantic taking a look at our conditions across the area yesterday it was a chilly day across the region with most locations reporting in the mid to upper 30s the warm spots were still very cold with Richmond and Norfolk only reporting 40 degrees for a high Lows this morning were rather mild across the area for this time of year with most locations reporting in the low 30s. The colder spots still were just uh, slightly below 30 at 29 degrees at Baltimore, Salisbury, and Dover. As of 9 a.m., we are seeing uh, more of a warm-up today as we do anticipate temperatures to rise into the 50s. As of 9 a.m., temperatures are in the low to mid 40s across the entire region except for Dover, which was still holding out at 38 degrees. We are seeing um, mostly cloudy to partly sunny skies across the mid-Atlantic. Taking a look at our sounding from this morning, we are seeing southwesterly winds at the surface throughout uh, much of the column. Winds were running around 10 knots at the surface and increasing rather quickly to around 32 knots at 1,000 feet. And then remaining around uh, 35 to 40 knots at the 6,000 feet before increasing gradually to 60 knots at 16,000 feet and maxing out at 73 knots from the west at the 25,000 foot level. And our freezing level this morning was just below 8,000 feet. Taking a look at our satellite and radar loop this morning, not seeing any shower activity across the region today. We're just seeing those southwesterly winds across the area and those are expected to increase as we go into the day later today as we have a uh, front approaching from the west and that pressure gradient is expected to tighten. But So uh, gonna be looking at some gusts around 25 knots. So not a guaranteed wind advisory, but there is going to be a 30 to 40 percent chance of seeing one of those later this morning into this afternoon. We are seeing some uh, upper level clouds near the 20 and 25,000 foot levels streaming across the area. And we do anticipate that to be the story for today until we get into later this evening when some lower level clouds approach the area as our next weather maker moves into the region after midnight. Taking a look at our surface analysis this morning. We're seeing the high pressure that was over the area yesterday move to the south, southeast of the region, helping to give us that southwesterly flow as that next front as you, over the Ohio Valley approaches the area. That is expected to move into the area uh, after midnight tonight, and we are going to be looking at uh, some rain chances, mainly after midnight and then into about 8 or 9 a.m. tomorrow. This is going to be a pretty strong cold front as there's going to be some strong cold ejection coming behind this front, so we are going to be seeing the uh, some snow mixed in as this front departs the area tomorrow morning but not expecting any snow accumulation due to uh, temperatures remaining just above freezing and some and the ground is going to be rather wet taking a look at our forecast charts as we go into tonight we're going to continue to see uh, those upper level clouds moving to the area we're also going to be seeing some lower level clouds start to approach as we get um, that front approach in the area and then as we go into tonight, that's when our rain should start. Looking at a start time between about midnight and 2 a.m. for rain chances to really ramp up across the area. Then from about 2 a.m. to 8 a.m., it does look like we're going to be seeing some steady light rain. And then that rain is going to be ending with just some light snow showers for an hour or two. Uh, not expecting any snow accumulation, however. That was rain showers should end by about 8 to 10 a.m. tomorrow morning or and like I said, they're going to be ending as snow, not expecting any snow accumulation. And then as we go into tomorrow, we are going to be seeing a Canadian high pressure building into the area. And those temperatures are going to be plummeting throughout the day. So we are expecting our high temperature to occur early in the morning. 
as we are going to be seeing temperatures falling and clouds decreasing as a cold, dry air mass quickly moves into the region for our second half of our Friday. For Saturday, we're going to have high pressure over the area, still remaining cold across the region with that cold air mass locked in place, only expecting a high in the low to mid-30s for Saturday under partly cloudy skies. Taking a look at our weather hazards for today, we are going to be looking at just a 30 to 40 percent chance of some uh, brief wind gusts of 25 knots or maybe even slightly above there. Any wind gusts should be brief, otherwise we're going to be seeing sustained winds from the southwest around 9 to 14 knots. And then we're going to be uh, seeing a warmer high today of around 53 degrees. Our normal average for this time of year is 46, so only a few degrees above average. And then tonight we are going to be seeing those temperatures slowly drop with our low expected around 8 a.m., which is also going to be around our high with a uh, low tonight of 34. We are going to be seeing a definite chance of rain after midnight and into 8 a.m., and we are going to be seeing those showers end with uh, some snow towards the 8 a.m. time frame tomorrow morning. Taking a look at our terminal forecast, mainly just going to be seeing some upper level clouds near 18,000 and 25,000 feet through about 4 p.m. Then we could be seeing a chance of some uh, lower level clouds near 5,000 feet pop up. But we aren't really going to see the um, big threat of some lower level ceilings until we get into late this evening where ceilings will be dropping between the 3,000 and 5,000 foot level after 10 p.m. And then when rain starts, we're going to see those ceilings lower down between the 1,000 to 2,000 foot level, possibly down to 500 feet if we get into any uh, moderate shower activity and when we see those snow showers tomorrow morning as well. For the next few days, we're going to be seeing a cold uh, end of the week here and beginning of the weekend. Tomorrow is going to be, uh, those temperatures are going to be falling throughout the day. High is going to happen in the morning at 34 degrees with uh, some breezy winds behind this front as it moves out of the area as that high pressure builds in. On Friday night, that high pressure will be closer to the area and we will have that pressure gradient relaxed um, a bit. Still expecting some slightly breezy winds early, but we are going to be looking at a very frigid low of 18 degrees for Saturday morning. On Saturday, the high pressure should be dominating the area and we'll be seeing just mostly sunny skies um, with clouds then increase in the afternoon as that high shifts east of the region. But it is going to be a very cold day with an Arctic air mass in place with a high of only 33 degrees. Taking a look at our seven day forecast here. Today is going to be uh, the warmest day in the extended outlook with a high of 53. Then we get that uh, cold front passing the area tonight and that's going to be giving us a very cold air mass the next couple days with a uh, high temperature tomorrow morning of 34 then dropping throughout the day. Very cold low on Saturday morning of 18 degrees, high of 33 on Saturday. On Sunday looking at a fairly average low with a low of 32. Temperatures are going to be increasing throughout the area Saturday night and into Sunday as that high pressure shifts offshore and we get a more of a return flow. On Sunday we're going to have our next system impact the area. It's going to be more of a southern stream system, but it is going to be uh, too much too warm for any snow. But it does look like we are going to be getting a decent chance of rain from Saturday, Sunday afternoon and through Sunday night. Rain should be out of the area by, uh, in the pre, by the pre-dawn hours of Monday. And the Monday and Tuesday are going to be very seasonable as some uh, weak high pressure settles over the area. Only expecting uh, some seasonable high temperatures in the mid-40s under partly cloudy skies. And then Tuesday morning, our low is going to be seasonable as well in the mid to upper 20s. On Wednesday, we are going to be getting another front crossing the area. This one does look to be um, a little bit stronger, so we're going to be expecting a little bit more rain with this front on Wednesday. And it is also going to be uh, a little bit warmer then with a high of 56 degrees. That'll do it for your daily weather briefing. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 8.15 a.m. and at 10 a.m. Have a great day.